Reward being offered for information leading to the hit and run driver who killed a beloved South LA activist. Trina Newman Townsend was dropping off presents at a local women's shelter when she was hit. Kick on Ice Candace Crone is live now with the latest on that investigation. Candace. That's right. We were there as detectives went back to the scene tonight to uh, gather more information and answers on who caused this crash that killed a minister, a mother, and a grandmother. Please help us because. My, my family's grieving. Dwayne she Newman returned children. to the intersection of 88th and Broadway in South LA, where his sister, 62 year old Trina Newman Townsend, was hit and killed Christmas Eve. She had just dropped off Christmas gifts at this women's shelter when police say she was struck by the driver of a blue four door sedan who kept going, leaving the foster mother of 10 for dead. She had three children in the car with her that witnessed this. And I know they need some closure, I know they need some help. Newman Townsend was a minister who loved serving her community. LAPD officers went back out to the scene Monday, scouring for security video at nearby businesses in hopes of capturing who's responsible for the deadly crash. These cameras will tell the whole story. We knocked on the doors at several businesses, but workers who answered told us they could not access the recording system. A $50,000 reward is now being offered in hopes of catching the hit and run driver. A heart scribbled in chalk surrounds the handwritten message, you will be missed. Relatives hope someone has the heart to do the right thing and help them get justice. If you have any kind of compassion in your heart, if you have any kind of mercy, any sympathy, any humanity, please help us or just turn yourself in. Now, police have not yet released a description or a picture of the vehicle or the suspect involved in this deadly hit and run crash. Of course, if you have any information, give them a call. I should also know that there will be a vigil on Wednesday and Thursday at the scene of the crash at 6 p.m. We're live in downtown LA, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News.